Let's do green light. There we go. Chem light. In my previous video here, Diversions, I showed you guys a script that Ride Gear and myself put together which enabled you to damage a vehicle and have enemy AI go check it out, look around it and see what damaged it, basically diverting their attention. Now today, I have an upgraded version of this script that will enable you to throw items and divert their attention that way alongside damaging vehicles. So my little demonstration mission here, I have three enemy units. So you have a guy here and two soldiers way over here. So each one of these soldiers has a variable name. This one is E3 and then I put this code in here. And these two over here, this guy is E2 and this guy is E1. Now the vehicles also have been named, so this vehicle is VEH1, this one over here is VEH2, and this one is VEH3. Let's take a look at the script. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder. All right, here we are in the uh, scenario folder. Let's take a look at the init.sqf what you're going to do in your mission is for vehicles that you want to set up to create diversions all you need to do is give that vehicle name and put the name of the vehicle right here in between these brackets vehicle one vehicle two vehicle three if you're doing a fourth vehicle just put a comma you know give it a name like veh or whatever you want to do and, and you could do it like that just make sure it's got a comma and that's it now for div enemies, that has to do with infantry, so you can name them whatever you want. I would suggest keeping it simple. E1, E2, E3 are the units that are in the mission currently. If I wanted to add more, I would just put a comma, and let's say I did a, a fourth guy, so I would just go E4 or something. You don't have to use E4. Like I said, you could use whatever name you want, and that's all you have to do for that. And then, of course, you have this code here that just calls the scripts. All right, let's take a look at the actual script itself, so diversions.sqf. This is your information about the scripts. All you have to do is just place vehicles and units in your scenario that you want. Give them variable names to find them in the init.sqf, as I say here in number two. And that's basically all you have to do. And in your mission, just shoot, throw a grenade, smoke, IR, grenade, chem light, or another throwable object. Parameters. Now the parameters are important. So you have div hearing range. This is 200 meters. I tried lower. It's, it's okay, but 200 is best you can mess with that. Basically this is the range that the infantry units will hear the vehicle or whatever you threw creating a noise and then they will respond. This is the div delay return that means in 30 seconds when the AI go investigate whatever you damaged or whatever you threw basically investigate for 30 seconds and then after 30 seconds they will return back to their original positions. Now, I originally had this at 60 seconds, but for today's demonstration, I set it to 30. Div stop distance is how far away, 10 meters of how far away they're going to stop away from the vehicle that was damaged or area that, were, that the object landed. I'm going to zip up these two scripts in a zip file and link them for download in the description of the video. So when you get them, put both scripts into your scenario folder, just like I did here, and just be sure to name your units or vehicles so that the script will work. All right, so let's take a look at this mission. Player character right here is set as Captive True, even though he is Blue 4 and the enemy is O4. O4 would normally shoot Blue 4 on sight, so they won't with my character, so let's check it out. In my inventory, I have RGNs, RGOs, White Smoke, Green Light, IR Grenades. We're going to damage a vehicle first. And let's watch what these guys do. So remember, the, these guys are within 200 meter hearing range. So if I damage this vehicle, you're going to get a hint on the screen. 
So they're going to basically walk towards the vehicle and investigate. The hint says the enemy heard something and are moving to take a look. So remember, 30 seconds, they're going to stop, and then they're going to return to their original positions. So a hint came up, and it says the enemy found nothing and are returning to their original positions. Let's damage another vehicle. Let's damage that one. And there they go. How about this guy? He's coming to... Slowly. I had them set to limited for their walk, so the enemy has found nothing and are returning to the original positions. So originally I had them set to normal speed, and I kind of found that to be not as immersive than for them to just be limited and kind of just walk towards the area because they're trying to be careful and like what was that type of thing so now you see that you can damage vehicles and so forth now how would they respond if I throw something we're gonna throw a IR grenade over there The enemy heard something and are moving to take a look. So they're going to split up and kind of look around. I think 30 seconds is pretty decent for uh, the search. I mean, you can have it longer, obviously. I had it originally at 60. But I think, I think 30 is pretty decent, too. The enemy found nothing and are returning to their original positions. So we're going to let them return and we're going to try something else. Let's do green light. There we go. Chem light. The enemy found nothing and are returning to their original positions. So as you can see, you don't want to be too far away with where you throw your object. And being close is fine, that works, but just remember you want to be within so far of, um, of, the, of the target. Let's do it one more time. This time we're going to go up here so we can see better. And this time we will throw a grenade. That got their attention. Yeah, they seem to respond better with IR grenades than chem lights. I don't know what the deal is with chem lights, but... Alright guys, I hope you liked that. I hope you find this script useful in your scenarios. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist.